Hi there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Okay, we just had our first snowstorm in Portland, Oregon. Oh yeah, it was like an inch, maybe half an inch. I know, we're snow wimps up here, but I am dressed accordingly, California girl. Today I'm gonna to share with you a tip which is near and dear to my heart and comes in handy if you work with people who do not know how to spell. I'm not saying you don't know how to spell. I'm just saying that in the CAD industry, we're not all known for our amazing abilities to spell. Now, if you happen to be in mText, it's really easy. It does a spell check on the fly as you're typing in your text, right? But what if somebody sends you a drawing file that you're doing some editing on and you're gonna be handing it off to somebody else, you might wanna check that baby to make sure it doesn't have a bunch of misspellings in it that you're gonna take the fall for, right? And that's where spell checker comes in because I know you would not spell words incorrectly, but someone else might. So let's take a look at the spell command. Doesn't matter, it's gonna solve all your problems. Now the spell command can be reached from the annotate tab on the ribbon, right here. This guy right here is a spell checker, or you can type in the word spell, whatever makes you happy. And I'm gonna also point out that I think it's a really good idea to be in the model space tab. You can be in these other layouts, but I am not gonna promise you it's gonna work right. <laughs> it has a tendency if you're in paper space to not wanna to talk to things in model space and vice versa. So I go to the model tab and that's where I run my spell checks if I want it to check all of my text. So here I'm in the check spelling dialog box. The first thing you need to tell it what you want to check, where to check, what to check if you ask me, not where to check. You want it to check the entire drawing, which even though you click on that and you go to those other tabs, it may or may not choose to do it i'm just saying you're safe if you're in models if you're in the model tab the current spacer layout or selected objects where you might window some text objects to take a look at i'm going to go big or go home i'm going to have it check the entire drawing i'm going to go ahead and click on start which i also notice sometimes requires two clicks uh, depending on how much coffee your autocad has had that day today it worked uh, on the first click and it's gonna go through and it's gonna to, going to find words in your drawing file that are not in the dictionary. All right, well, what dictionary is that? You can see that I am currently using the American English Dictionary. You can pick the one of your choice. Maybe you're working with another country. They might have, might have words in a different language. Um, you also can add in a custom dictionary if you want to. That's a file that has an extension of CUS and you can uh, bring those in as well. So, for example, it couldn't find ST. That's not a word, but it makes sense in my join file. So I'm going to say ignore all instances of that, you know, as opposed to ignore, which would just be the current instance that I have selected. And then balcony, it looks like it's a cross between balcony and baloney, doesn't it? It was spelled incorrectly. Here's balcony, here's baloney. It defaults to balcony. It will give you quite a list of options in most cases, which is amusing to look at, I might add. For example, maybe I really meant blonde or bacons, <laughs> because those are often found in join files. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with the suggestion of balcony, and just in case it was spelled incorrectly more than once, I'll say change all. Let's see what else it's got going for me. So it found uh, a couple of other things that are not incorrect, this LOC, that's fine. I'm gonna say ignore all of those. A lot of these are proper names, right? Ignore all. Now, if you're gonna have the same things over and over again, at some point you might wanna add them into the dictionary. For example, please hold, you will see at some point it comes to DWG. All right, now you would think that AutoCAD would know what DWG is, but apparently not today. So I actually would like to add that to the dictionary, right? So you would go ahead and click that and add that to the dictionary. So it won't ask you about it again. It knows that it's free and clear and no more spell checking with that particular word. Dimensions, that was spelled incorrectly, so I'm gonna change that. It should have been dimensions, right? Let's change that. And then I'm done. That was easy. That was all good, right? Now, the one thing I would also like to show you in here is the very powerful settings option because here is how you're gonna tell it exactly how you want spell to work. Right now, it's checking out dimension text and block attributes along with regular text and M text, but you could also have it if you wanted it to do, to do a dive into your XRefs, that's up to you. Um, you might want it to have it ignore capitalized words, right, proper, proper nouns like Autodesk, I like their example there. Um, I might wanna do that because you saw that I had a lot of words that came up that were just names, for example. 
ignore words with mixed cases, ignore words in uppercase. I have to point this one out because DWG, it does recognize that. And this, it, it gives, sorry, it gives it as an example, which I find kind of amusing. And then here's ignore words with numbers and words containing punctuation. So you decide for yourself how you want that to be set up. I would probably turn ignore words in uppercase on, but you know, that's up to you. All right, so I'm gonna cancel out of there. And then I'm closed. And now my join file doesn't have any spelling errors in it. I look good. I can go home. I'm on, you know, I'm in the clear. People think I'm a spelling genius, and that makes me happy. All right, so I hope that tip comes in handy for you. Great way to check out drawings from other people or for yourself to make sure there are no spelling errors. And I also hope I will see you back here in two more weeks. I'm going to go out and make a snowman, a very tiny, super small, like this big snowman out of that half an inch, one inch of snow. Anyway, thanks for joining me. I'll see you soon.